The average age of a fruit picker today, it's about 64 years old. It's very hard. It's a low paid job and the younger generation doesn't step in. I, I know, I, I don't want my, my, my children to work in, 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 in fruit picking tasks. No. I don't want it. So if we will not tackle this issue with robotics, you know, in a few years, fruit will be a food for the wealthiest because the, the prices will be, as you know, astronomical. In the last years, even in the last decade, we've seen an alarming, uh, uh, alarming trend of dehydrating orchards. Basically, this picture uh, uh, took about uh, took on China, one of the one of the major apple growers in the world. China so it's growing about forty to fifty percent of, of the apples of the world, and there's an alarming process of dehydrating orchards just because the human factor. The average age of a fruit picker today, it's about 64 years old. I repeat it, 64 years old. The younger generation doesn't step into this hard and seasonal job. It's very hard, it's a low paid job and the younger generation doesn't step in. I, I know, I, I don't want my, my, my children to work in, in, in fruit picking tasks now. I don't want, and I'll show you your children. You don't want it. So the population of the world is increasing, increasing. And the human, and the human uh, labor that associated with the picking task is, this, is decreasing dramatically. So if we will not tackle this issue with robotics, you know, in a few years, fruit will be a food for the wealthiest because the, the prices will be, as you know, astronomical. And the solution is with robotic. You see the challenge over here. This is, the, this is a picture that, that, that uh, we took at HMC Farms. You know, every year it's a logistic nightmare. He recruiting between 1,000 to 1,200 employ, employees, fruit pickers, every year for Mexico. And it's getting harder and harder every year to get the visas, to get the transportation, to get the laboratories, to get the dormitories for all these workers. And it's a nightmare for him. So basically, uh, I bring a mock-up with me. So this is the hardware solution. We develop a utility drones that deals with very sophisticated agricultural tasks. It involves with 3D cameras. Or four different cameras for positioning of the drone and detecting the fruits. Determine if it's ripe or not. If it's ripe, you pick it. If it's not ripe, it's not. you skip it. And also a very gentle gripper. And this is a very important one. The gripper has to be gentle because if it's not going to be gentle, it's going to harm the tree and damage the next year picking cycle. So it's a very gentle gripper a unified gentle gripper that really gently attach the fruit from the tree and put it very, very gently into the bin and to prevent any bruising and damages to the fruit. Basically, we developed this solution together with the farmers and we asked them, what is more important, a picking speed of it or the fruit quality? And the answer was unanimously, the fruit quality. Because today, the human pickers just want to finish the job in the sun, they pick the fruit, they damaging the trees, and, we, and, and he need, and they, the grower, the industrial grower need a dedicated solution to maintain the fruit qualities. But it doesn't end with the hardware. The, the heart of the system is the software. This is an AI driven software. So it run, it's run nine neural network at the same time. So first you have to determine if the fruit is ripe or not. If, it, if it's right, rip it. If, if it not, skip it. Then you have to determine what is the best way to, to approach the food, which way. Um, how many force I have to invest to detect the, the, the fruit for, from the tree. Which way to rotate the picking arm, left or right. What is the best solution to pick the fruit? All is being done at the same time, at real time. So again, it's dealing with, uh, uh, with data sensors. We develop also, of, of course, a mobile application that controlled by the grower. He can determine, and this is one of the 
biggest advantage of our, of our solution, a selective picking cycle. You know, he get, you know, the growers get a totally different prices for fruit grade. A, a triple A grade fruit worth four times more than the standard one. So using our system, he can generate the fruit measurements. I can pick only the fruits with X amount of, of, uh, of measurement and X amount of color coverage. And this is the kind of selective picking that our solution enable. So it's also a data collector. Every picking cycle, the system uh, uh, have a data regarding all the weight of the fruit, the size, and also a yield, a heat map of the yield of the orchard. It can also generate a yield alert, which some trees with very low yield, it can generate alert. Maybe the trees have a disease or something like that. So this, is, this, this amount of data is so crucial for the industrial growth that it, exists, it doesn't exist today. So it's a data collector that this is a byproduct of, of our uh, solution. Remember, the first thing is to answer the labor, the labor issue. But by, for a byproduct, you're gaining all the benefits for using AI and using robotic solution. Uh, we also uh, develop uh, a, a software simulator. So, you know, you know, the orchards are much different. The orchards in, in United States are different than the orchards in Europe, and the orchards in Europe are different than the orchards in South America. So before we entering a new area, we have a simulator. Demonstrate the real time, almost accurately, the, the orchards, the architecture and, and, and measurements. So it's all been done by AI and, and making a successful and smooth deployment in the new geographies. Basically, our a, a, a system is very adaptable because using the benefit of the drones allows us to, to operate with many kinds of orchards. We can work with narrow, uh, uh, with narrow, with narrow orchards, with wide or orchards, and it's all been done of our specially tailored uh, 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 drone system. You know, robotic arms has really very key disadvantage in, in, in terms of uh, fruit picking uh, uh, issues. One is the degrees of freedom. A robotic arm is only three degrees of freedom. With this kind of drone, we have six degrees of freedom, so we can tackle more fruits. Also, a robo robotic arms are very expensive to maintain and very expensive to use. With this kind of, uh, 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 of drones, we design it to be reliable and cost effective. We invest a lot of designing this product to be cost effective. And also in terms of maintainability, the most important time for the, for, for the grower is the harvesting season. And when robotic arm um, inside the, the, the orchards, I don't know, malfunction, to fix a robotic arm system, it's a mess. It's a mess. The MTBR, the mean time between repair of robotic arms is very long. With our system, in some case, one of the drones decided to crash, we have another spare, two spare drones to so just a plug and play. So the harvesting continue. So the adaptable solution is also give the, 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 the grow the flexibility to determine which size of the orchards I, I will pick. Uh, maybe I will pick only the treetops. Maybe I'll pick only the left side because it's very important because the exposure of the fruit to the sun is different. So Using our system, which only you can determine by the pre-launching uh, 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 fruit picking uh, cycle, and there you have it. Basically, the, the, this is uh, <laughs> this is the product. So uh, uh, it comes with uh, uh, six or eight drones uh, uh, per one per one uh, per one platform. So the solution with, is uh, combined with the ground platform and a fleet of uh, flying autonomous robots associated with that. And this is very important because it, it gets all the energy from the ground platform so it can work 24-7. It doesn't have any batteries, so it can work continuously. 